All right, so we are here, World Series, night one, just wrapped up time trialing for the Pro Late Model Division. I'm here with the New Age Punisher, Jason Park out of Port Elgin, Ontario, former Sobble Speedway, limited late model track championship champion. And Jay, how did, uh, how did time trial go? Uh, we were a little off. Uh, this is our first time here, so this track's pretty intimidating for a first timer. Um, with sticker tires, we're a little off, but we had a good run, I think. I don't know even know where we finished, but uh, uh, we're still here, we're running. Now, the, the rains obviously affected the program today, pushed uh, pushed practice back a little bit. Do you feel as though maybe a little bit more track time out there would have helped your performance? Uh, yeah, for sure. Every time we've been out, we've uh, got faster and faster. I mean, we, we've got four practice sessions in uh, with the, with this completely different car setup and different track. So uh, every practice session is better. Qualifying was our, uh, was our best time of the day, so uh, we're getting better. Now, the whole 31 car field is so close in times, and you guys are absolutely flying out there. Uh, does New Summer compare at all to any other track you've been on in, in your uh, in your late model career? Uh, no, I haven't been on anything like this. There's a lot of banking here, a lot of grip, and uh, yeah, you, you send it into the corner hard, and you better get back on the gas soon. Now, what car is it that you've brought here? You see the number eight on the side of that. What car is it that you've brought down, and what adjustments did you have to make from what you normally want in Ontario to be legal for New Smyrna? Well, we run this. This is our limited late model car from Sauble. So this is a big spring. Uh, uh, you know, uh, a steering box car. We don't have a lot of uh, some of the options that all these guys have here, but this is a car we run at home, so we converted a lot of things. Uh, engine uh, exhaust is different, 10-inch uh, rims, uh, uh, just uh, just things to make it better. Uh, McCall Racing uh, set us up with some shocks that are, that are working well, so I'd really like to thank Mike and Bert for all their help, and uh, we're, we're getting better. And coming down as the rookie, not really knowing what to expect. I know you were here last year as a spectator, but what are the realistic expectations for your team for this season? Ah, down here, we're just here to have fun. I mean, what what would you rather do in the middle of February but race cars, right? At it's home, it's snowing. So down gorgeous here, weather down here. Uh, we're loving it. So, uh, you know, we, we just hope to have fun, uh, have a couple good runs. Uh, you know, this is our first time, so we're not looking to uh, to, to clean up or, or, you know, anything like that. We just want to have a good run and, uh, and go home in one piece. Well, we'll definitely be checking in with you throughout the week. We'll, we'll talk to you a little bit later on after your feature uh, tonight. I'm standing here now. For Inside Track Motorsport News, the driver of the number 8 Pro Late Model, the New Age Punisher, Jason Parker, 2010 Sobble Speedway, limited late model track champion, and, uh, and Jay, you got the first one out of the way. How did it go for you out there? Well, it's tough going. There's a lot of cars out there, a lot of carnage, and our goal was just to get through tonight. It's a long week, and, uh, you know, we, we do not need to get watered up on the first night, so... Uh, you know, we were kind of staying out of trouble, and uh, thank God it worked out. You had a couple of close calls, got got in the, in the neighborhood of some of the carnage, but uh, I, I don't think you have virtually, uh, the car's virtually untouched, no no real marks, but you did get into it very sh briefly with Kirk Hooker on the back straightaway. Yeah, that was just a little deal. I got a little uh, little loose going into the corner. Kirk went underneath, we touched, uh, he got a flat out of it. Uh, no, just a racing deal, bad deal. Have you changed up uh, up your racing line from where you were in time trials yesterday? Oh, every time, every lap we go out there, we get a little better. It's uh, this track is a track that you need to put laps down, and uh, and it shows you. You know, you've got the regulars here; they can put it down, and uh, we're learning a little bit every time we go out. We get a little faster, so. We're just uh, we're doing what we can. Is there one specific area of, of improvement that you could point to that you really need to work on out there? Well, I don't know. We came down here just to have a good time, compete. Uh, you know, we're, we're just here for fun. So uh, you know, we're, we're doing what we can, and uh, I don't know. It, it's intimidating. It's an intimidating track. It's a very fast track, and uh, you need to have experience around here to really be able to get the best out of your car. Uh, I think our car's got a little more, but. The driver needs to maybe put a little more on the time time sheet. Now I saw that uh, that uh, Mike McCall of McCall Racing Enterprises was over here, uh, you know, helping out a little bit, uh, giving some pointers with his experience down here. Uh, how was he able to help you out? Wow, well, Mike, Mike, and Bert McCall are the reason we're here, right? Those guys are the guys that help us out. Um, uh, they they set up the car, they do a great job, and. Uh, you know, Mike helps us out all the time. He, he comes all the way here to Florida just to help out the guys that he works with. So it uh, says a lot about Mike and Bert McCall. So uh, McCall Racing Enterprises, this is, uh, they're helping us a lot. Have there been any uh, fellow competitors that have given you any pointers whatsoever that have helped? Oh, absolutely. Dwayne Baker, uh, Brandon Watson, they've been here a couple times. Uh, their whole crew, we're all buddies, and they help us out a lot. And, uh, you know, if we can help them, we help them. Uh, we're not at that point yet, but... Uh, you know, we're, we're, 
we're doing. We're, we're doing what we can. Now, I know you got a laundry list of folks that have helped you uh, get down here. The, the support that you've been able to rally has really been uh, pretty remarkable. So go ahead and, and let me know some of those sponsors that have got you down here. Well, definitely. we got our regular car sponsors, but we also got guys that have just helped us out to come here to Florida. Marvin Freiberger, who's here helping us in the pits, has helped us a lot. Andy Schmidt at Andy's Country Repair uh, has chipped in and helped us out with some tires and stuff. Don Tremble is, is here with us. Uh, he's, he's our cook and uh, also a sponsor and he's doing everything. He's taking, he's helping us out. And I mean, really that's what you need down here. Uh, grass accounting, uh, MEI paving, uh, subtle speedway. They've all helped us out. Uh, and it means a lot to us to, to be down here with those sponsors. Well, all right, well, that, that'll do it for night two, officially night one, uh, because of the rain out last night. And we'll check right back in with you uh, bright and early tomorrow afternoon, my friend, and see, uh, see where you're coming along with the old Pro Light model. Thanks. Thanks very much, Jason. All right, we're here now at the uh, the end of racing here on Tuesday night with Jason Parker, driver of the number eight pro late model on J. We uh, a little bit of an interesting evening for you. Started earlier off today. It looked as though the car was definitely improving from where you guys had been earlier on in the week, though. Yeah, it's it's tough. We're working hard. It's it's all new for us down here. So uh, time trials was a uh, were quite a disappointment. Uh, bad uh, bad qualifying. So that gets you back in this in the in the place you don't want to be. So things happened back there and uh, had some issues. You're plotting the lawn out there, though. You're making up some some ground, making up some spots, and uh, had a little bit of an incident going into turn number two with with fellow Canadian Dwayne Baker. What what did you see in that melee over down there? Well, I was I was running right behind Baker. I was catching up. He was maybe being held up by the car in front of him in the 94. Uh, got inside of him and uh, the 94 tagged him, turned him, and the last I saw Baker was turning right to the wall. And I got by without touching anybody. And when I came around, he was against the inside wall. So I really don't know what happened. I mean, that was a close call, to say the very least. There had to have been a bit of a grin creeping across your face when you were heading down the back straightaway, knowing you didn't catch a chunk of it. Oh, definitely. That's what it's all about here. You know, you got you have to hold it right to the floor and hope you make it through. And uh, sometimes you make it through, sometimes you don't. Unfortunately, on the ensuing restart, as you see uh, over Jason's shoulder, the car being put back together. Now, excellent job done by the crew, I must say. But uh, coming to the restart off of four, what happened there? Well, I, I mean, I was on the inside, so what I saw, Kirk Hooker got turned. Uh, don't, I guess he was outside, then inside. The last thing I saw, he was going to the outside wall. And uh, we dodged a wreck, got through it, and unfortunately got tangled up with another car after the wreck. Uh, it was just a uh, crappy deal. You were able to make it back in under your own power, though. The car uh, looks almost good as new. What, what was, was there any lasting damage to the hot rod? Uh, it tore up everything. The front bumper, rad, everything's gone. As you can see, the guys are working hard, as they always do. Um, these guys uh, are what keeps this thing going. A lot of work tonight. Uh, I'm enjoying myself. They're working hard. Uh, that just shows you uh, how dedicated these guys are to this team, and they do a great job. Now, you had actually Mark Dilley in here, and Mark was giving you a couple pointers. I thought it was a very interesting conversation you guys were having. What, what was Mark trying to help you out with? Uh, just finding a better line around here. Um, <laughs> the tracks I run, I, it, it's a different line. It's a different line. I mean, I'm... I'm a bit of a bottom feeder at our home track, and uh, here the guys that are fast are running up. They're running up in the groove, and I mean, if, if Mark Dilley tells you there's a better groove to be found, you got to listen to the guy. He's got a lot of laps under his belt. So you guys had a little bit of a, a little bit of a hiccup today, but you've been getting better each day. Uh, what are you looking forward to accomplishing through the rest of the week? <laughs> well, I tell you what, we we uh, if we can fix this, and the guys have almost got it fixed. We need to put some new tires on tomorrow. You know, we're not keeping up on the tire schedule. We can't keep up on the tire schedule. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna put on some new tires tomorrow. Take some advice from some veteran drivers like Mark Dilley and uh, throw it out there. You know, we got. To, we, I was scared of the first rack, so it's out of the way. So now we'll just hold her down and go.